Hi, this is Beata from Split Cost Stampers. In this video, I want to show you how to use Emboss Abilities folder or any embossing folder to create a four letter press look. For my sample, the card base was cut with the largest fleur de lis square. The centerpiece is with a fleur de lis accent die and a little pendant die for the sentiment. The image is from uh, Just Right Stampers, Botanical Butterflies, and the uh, rhinestones are from Want to Scrap. To begin with, you will need an embossing folder, and I'm using Embossabilities Folder Elegance. What's wonderful about these uh, new embossabilities is that they come in two sizes, five by seven and four and a quarter by five and a half, and they don't only have one design, but they're reversible. You flip over the folder for another design. That's a great value. Now for um, in the four letter press you will need to add some ink to your folder. You can either use the brayer or just rub your ink pad directly over the folder. Uh, don't worry about Cleaning, if you're using a dye ink, you can just run it through the, either run water over it or use a baby wipe or a wet paper towel to clean it. Then you add your paper in there. To run your folder through the, uh, to the grand caliber, you will start with a base plate, place your Embossabilities folder over that, and then you will need a, a pink adapter plate. And you just run it through your grand caliber. As always, you can use these um, embossing folders, like all Spellbinders products, with most other die cut machines. You run it through, and you're already done. There you go, then you cut it to size and use this in a project. It's a great way to get a different look out of your embossing folders. I hope you try it out. See you next time.